Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, we got cut off a little bit, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish this part and then Then I'm going to head off. Looks like the way out's up ahead. Come on. Go in here. Equip the iron arrow and the longbow. I'm gonna crouch down to sneak. Looks like the way out's up ahead. Come on. We're gonna draw an arrow, and this is going to help us to move faster. Come on, this way. Let's, Let's see, see where this goes. goes. After we complete the uh, exit here, you know, to where we can actually start on the rest of the game, I will be playing a different game off camera with my son. I want to try and get through this as fairly quickly as possible. We'd better push on. I'm sure the others will find another way out. Okay. I've already checked over on that side. I've gotten up as best as I could on some things. I have not ever really found anything up there. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. Once we get up here, there's going to be some things over here. Healing potion. Skeleton. We're going to take that coin purse. Now, up here... It's normally when... Uh, well, not really normally, but... It's when we end up taking the wrong turn and falling. It helps us to get down this way so that we're able to actually find our way out and away from Helgen. And of course we can hear him you know, talking, constantly saying things like, follow me, hurry up, follow me, um, we uh, got to get going, don't fall behind, you know, all that kind of thing. Uh, that doesn't go anywhere. I guess we'd better try this way. Now, up here, there's this stuff. We're gonna get those. We have to keep moving. There's a way up through here. Uh, I don't really go for the extreme quick leveling, so if you are wanting a fast level. This is not going to be the channel for you. To me, fast Must leveling is what next? cheating. Giant snakes. You know, I'm all for having powerful gear, but I do not like the idea of going through and doing it to where you know, you're getting rid of 
people and or things that you need in order to progress in the game. To me, that doesn't make any sense at all whatsoever. And even if you end up saving before you uh, kill somebody or get rid of someone that you need in the game in order to advance, I don't find that it's the best course of action. And to me, that is just a waste of time. So, even though I've seen other YouTubers do it, I've seen other people in real life do it, I've seen people in real life go through in this area and... This looks like the way. You know, just constantly do things like this right here. Until they level up. Because he's a huge part of the game and gets you where you need to be. This looks and like see, the my archery increased. And I'm about to level. Let them stick together down you know, we turn around and we keep doing this, then, yeah, we'll be able to level, but on, hurry up. if you haven't played this game before, or you haven't played, you know, a game like this before at all, it's going to be a bit difficult for you, and you're going to have some issues, because when you level your enemies level Hold in up. order to There's a bear just ahead. See her. Give you I'd rather not tangle with her right now. You might be able to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow and watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take her by surprise. Go ahead. I'll follow your lead and watch your back. He will, but I'm coming up this way in order to get what's up here but it's going to make it that much more difficult if you've never played a game like this before, let alone if you've never played Skyrim before. So, what we're going to end up doing Okay, we're already in sneak mode. That just showed you how we go about get going into it. Now, we're gonna go right here. Not the snaking type, huh? And if you noticed, we were able to, <coughs> pardon me, kill it in three steps. Well, technically two steps, but could be considered three steps. Going into sneak, taking aim after equipping, of course, firing one shot to get its attention and to turn around and then one more shot, which was the killing blow. That right there is going to help bring our, not only our sneak up, but our archery up. here. Obviously this bear's been here for a while because there's a lot of different bones and skeletons. <laughs> and in some cases what appears to be fresh blood. This looks like the way out. I was starting to wonder if we'd ever make it. this away. Wait, wait. Uh, 
I'm one for swords. I really love swords and arrows. Looks stuff like, like he's that. gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. All right. Closest town from Harry's River. Have... My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. And it's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Now, a lot of these that are popping up are from what I had gotten uh, from the Creation Club. So, <coughs> excuse me. This concludes our mission for escaping Helgen. We are a Brighton. And that's giving us instructions to go to the Bee and the Barb, which is in. Uh, son of a biscuit eater. On the world map, locations you have discovered have light icons, while locations you have only heard about have dark icons. You can select any location you have discovered to fast travel to it. It's um, Riften. See right here is uh, the icon for Riften. So, after all of this ends up loading up, I will end the video, and then I will pick up in the next one. So, remember, it's okay to game, it's okay to be a gamer, just don't let it take over your life. Happy gaming, everybody!